Are you looking for a way to redirect all of the pages on your Joomla site to go to the home page? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 215 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so I'm available for hire. Shoot me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, if you've got some short-term or long-term work. Uh, one of my favorite tools for maintaining Joomla sites is, of course, MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA, and you'll get the first month free. Okay, so let's turn our attention to the screen, and we'll talk about why we want to change all of these pages so that uh, or set it up so all these pages direct to the home page uh, this is a web page of a client of mine he's closed his business and uh, so he just wants the only message available for people to see is that he is closed now there are other pages right now as you'll see in about us that work and an original series uh, 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 the ebooks that he is selling um, in previous uh, videos, we've looked at how to dis turn off certain pages and menu items and things like that. Uh, but this is actually a better method because if you're ever going to revive the site down the road, you don't have to turn everything back on. You just have to undo this one change that we'll make. The change that we're going to make is in an HT access file. So as we look at the cPanel, the control panel for this web hosting, this is what I offer to my clients, cPanel. Uh, we're going to go to File Manager. And then we're going to go to the folder where the Joomla site is installed, which is public HTML. And now we're going to look for the .ht access file. And there it is. We'll right click and we will go edit. And what we're going to do is post, uh, I'm going to post some code in and explain what it does. Now this should go after the rewrite engine online. And this file already has uh, one condition and a rewrite rule here so i'm going to paste this next rule and set of conditions afterwards we'll make lots of space here so we can see all right now we don't need rewrite engine on here because as i pointed out it's already on up here so this rule here basically takes all urls and uh, rewrites them so it's a call for the home page the ht access file contains rules uh, conditions and rules that will manage uh, when people ask for a web page. You can you can use it to redirect them to other places if you want. There's lots of uses for it, but we don't want to just keep rewriting the rule here. Uh, this this rule because that would mean that would create a loop. Every time someone asks for something, it would go to the home page. If they asked for the home page, it would go to the home page, and it would just loop, and the site would not be visible. So you put some conditions in. Now this first condition is a little tricky. It's looking for URLs that are not empty. So if the URL is not empty, proceed to the next condition. And this condition is if the URL is not forward slash administrator, you need to have this line in here in case you ever do want to log into the admin area. And because otherwise, if you put in forward slash administrator, it would just keep getting rewritten. And then this last condition is, is if the file does, that's being called for, because this not only is for URLs of pages, but for every file that's being called within them. So if it's not a call for a GIF or a JPEG or a PNG or CSS or JavaScript, if it's not any of these, then rewrite the rule. And how that works is this. We're just going to save. And now let's go back. First of all, we refresh the home page it's all the same. We refresh the about page and it goes to the home page. We refresh the uh, ebooks page and it goes to the home page. So I hope that that was helpful. Man, I looked all over for this code and we actually found it together on a live stream. So uh, that happens here on the channel from time to time. Well, it happens often. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you get notifications of those and subscribe if this was helpful. Give the video a like and um, that's it. So until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.